nice blinker there, made in Tucson, 520-444-4511, made in Tucson, not using blinkers. You know what I love doing is I love going up to people and going, hey, think your uh, left blinker's out, you might want to get that checked by a mechanic. We are going to make a video right now, which is me and you, and you, okay? Okay. All right, say, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. You know what really pisses me off, and I've expressed this before. You see that she's using her blinker now, right? She didn't use her fucking blinker in front of me, but she uses her blinker here. That pisses me off more than anything because you are now literally showing me that you have no respect whatsoever for me to use use a blinker in front of me. Like I'm in a heavy ass truck. You didn't use your blinker in front of me. You are literally disrespecting my job my traveling you are disrespecting me personally made in tucson why are you going to do that why are you not going to use a blinker to jump in front of a fucking truck but then you're going to use your blinker to jump in front of nobody that is the most disrespectful thing god i can't stand that stupid god i hate it that is just that just irritates me more than you know like the most like you cannot you if you don't use your blinker fine don't ever use your blinker i don't give a shit i really don't care i really don't give a shit but then when you don't use your blinker to jump in front of me and then you use your blinker to jump in front of somebody else that's you are literally just showing me you're, you're giving me the bird to me that's the equivalent of you flipping me off I did nothing wrong, I'm in the same lane, I'm traveling down the same highway you are, you do not use your blinker in front of me, but you use it, you don't give me the courtesy to tell me, but you give this person the courtesy to tell them. You are flipping me off. God, that irritates the shit out of me. You gonna get over there, car, or are you just gonna, you just gonna fucking uh, rear in this car that's uh, driving with their hazards on? What are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, hell yeah, everybody get out of my way. Obviously, you're busy, too busy to put, you know, you're, you're, you're not busy enough to speed your ass around my truck, but you're too busy to, to do that. Apparently, because I don't know how, I don't know how you would do that. You have a free, I don't know. To me, there's no excuse to not use your blinker. Absolutely no excuse. I don't give a shit if you have a soda in this hand and a phone in this hand. It, it, no matter which direction you go, you know, if you want to be completely distracted, that's fine. I can even do it with my foot. Come on. No excuse whatsoever. <sighs> bye bye, made in Tucson. Oh, it's a play on words. I just got it. <laughs> it made, made in, like M A B E. Made. You guys probably already figured that out. Like, before I fucking, you know. Before I fucking did it, before I thought of it, made in Tucson, M A I D, made like a maid, you know, <laughs> and then M A M A, you know what I'm saying, M A D E, made in Tucson. It's a play on words. I get it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a, that's a unique name for a maid service. Like, I wonder if this person had a name of like made in Tucson. Like, if I ever make a company, I'm gonna be calling it made in Tucson. But then they literally like started the business based around the name and that's why they have that business so you know, like made in tucson instead of m-a-d-e it would be m-a-i-d and that's why they have the business because of the name and not because of what they wanted to do for their life they're like ah well this name isn't taken made in tucson oh, i'll just start a business called made in tucson Meh, i don't know possible yo what's up fellow box truck driver what's up bro Fuck you then! <laughs> I did that with CFI when I worked for him. I'd go, me and my buddy Jose, he'd go, we go, yo, what's up CFI? And then they wouldn't, they wouldn't wave at us and we'd go, fuck you then! <laughs> we still do it. I still do it to CFI drivers. They don't know I'm a C old CFI driver. And they'll, I see them and I go, yo, what's up CFI? And they don't wave at me. And I go, fuck you then! <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm at my next delivery. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. What do I want to eat? What do I want to eat? You guys ever do that? Any local drivers? You're just sitting there going, oh man. What in the 
world do I want to eat today? Mmm. What do I want to eat for lunch in my bunch? I haven't had a sourdough jack in a quite a big minute. I kind of feel like a burger though, like a big one. Ooh, maybe I can go to Jack in the Box and get, ooh, yeah, yep, yeah, mm hmm I know what I'm getting. I'm going to Jack in the Box and I'm getting me a motherfucking whatever that sandwich is that I'm thinking of. That's the one. The one that I'm thinking of is the one that I'm gonna get. It's like a, it's like a, it's not a jumbo Jack, it's like a, it's like a fucking Supreme something, something sandwich, what's it called? It's called like a, it's like a cheese and, fucking know what is it called ultimate ultimate bacon cheeseburger i got what it's called it's called the ultimate bacon cheeseburger i remember, remember, remember whatever it was called but first i gotta make a delivery to this place and then and then i'm gonna go jack in my box and then i'm gonna get in i'm gonna get a bacon ultimate bacon yeah double a, bu a double bubble <laughs> a double a bacon Double ultimate bacon cheeseburger. Oh yeah, this is always a fun one when we gotta turn in here. In a box truck. Yeah. I always nose up. And then I gotta go a like of this. And then I gotta go a like of this. Clickety my hazards. Making sure no one pulled in behind me. That, oh, that shit happens quite a bit actually. Alright. Make sure I'm not gonna tail swing hit that truck. Nope. And then we're good. Alright, let me drink let me get this delivery done. Alright, cool. Thank you for moving over. So I used to uh, get Jack in a box from the Jack in a box that's by the university. There used to be one there, but now there's not. Uh, so now I got to get Jack in a box from this one. But the problem with this one is, is there's a whole bunch of homeless people that hang out here, and then they always want to fucking ask you for like money and shit. So it just sucks, you know. So anyways, I always go in here, and then I'll either park right here. Or I'll go around and park on the other side. I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here and park right here. And then I park. Well, see let me look at look at all the homeless people. All the homeless people just chilling. Homeless right there. So anyways, I typically will park right here in the front. And then I'll go in through right there. And I gotta lock my shit. Dude, one of the hardest things to do is ask for something custom. You know what I mean? Like, all I ask for is two tacos with no sauce. I don't want any sauce on them whatsoever. Because I don't like their sauce. Their sauce to me tastes very vinegary. It's not that good. God, look at that. I mean, this is all the stuff that's homeless people do here. And then when I get them, I, I watch them. I'll watch them put sauce on it, you know? And uh, I'm like, hey, you know, I, I said I said no sauce. So then they go, oh shit, okay, cool, whatever. Like, no big deal. So then the lady goes, oh, hey, these two tacos are for drive-thru, talking about the ones that they just about handed to me. So we can, now we can pass them to drive-thru. Well, then the girl at the drive-thru comes back and she goes, here's your two tacos. And I was like, again, I said no sauce. <laughs> like, come on, people. I say no sauce. And then they, they have to remake these, like brand new. Like, they made six of them. Somebody ordered six. I ordered two. Somebody else ordered two. I ordered two with no sauce. They put sauce on all of them. Gave me two. And I'm like, I don't want sauce. So now they have to remake my tacos. And I'm like, God dang it. Like, it's something stupid, but I'm like... Y'all are expecting a fucking $15 an hour pay raise and you guys can't get something simple like this. Simple. No, you're, you're taking away a fucking instruction. I don't understand why you can't figure it out. When you ask for no tomatoes, it's less work for you to do 
but you can't figure it out. Let me eat these tacos with spit on them. They're still good. They're still good. I'm gonna chop this tree down. One, two, three, go.